As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson, and you're in a valley right now. There are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Dog owner Laley Perez is suing Donald Saturno in the amount of $659.95. Ms. Perez claims the defendant shipped dog treats to her house instead of her neighbor's and says her dog got into the package and almost died as a result. Mr. Saturno claims the order was sent to the plaintiff's house by accident and says he shouldn't be held responsible for the dog's veterinary bills. All right, Ms. Perez? Yes. You're suing Mr. Saturno for $659.95 for vet bills having to do with your dog. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and what kind of dog is it? Um, it's a Siberian Husky. He's two years old, uh -huh. and he's my, my baby, my boy. Okay, I and how do you know this defendant? Well, uh, he has a store, he owns this store, and he sells uh, food and toys for, for doggies. Dogs. Yes. Oh, I see. How and long have you owned this store? Uh, I've been operating the store for two years. Okay, and is it, uh, is it just catering to dogs or yes, dogs and cats? Yes, it's primarily dogs, uh -huh. um, and yeah. We and so you sell uh, commercial brands of dog food and treats? Yeah, we sell, we don't make any of the treats ourselves. Right. We sell, we're a distributor, so we sell other brands and things like that. We right. focus on organic um, uh -huh. dog treats and things right. like that. that. Yeah, whole stuff, whole grain yeah. and all of that stuff. Good so food that, for your dogs. And that refrigerated stuff now. Don't they have like dog food you can put you in can, the You can get it in the freezer, you can get dog food any way you want now. Okay, and you got all of that in your shop? We, I mean, I wouldn't say all of it, we've got a lot, we're growing. Okay, but you sell uh, regular brands though. I mean, you don't have your own brand of anything. No, ma'am. Okay, so you ended up purchasing something from him. Yes, ma'am. I've been a loyal customer of this store for a year already. And he opened this new service. It's like delivery to your place. Mm. I am an ER nurse. So I work for long, long hours. For me, it was hard to be in buying at his store, which I did it for six months. And after that, he opened this service uh, where you can buy online making your profile, so I made my profile, you know, with my picture, my dog's picture. I have a picture of him Let here. me see a picture of the dog. Sure. I know you want me to see it. His name is Fester, and he's the smartest and cutest dog ever. He's the smartest dog. Yeah, <laughs> whatever he wants, oh, yeah, he goes for it. Oh, that's a good looking dog. So. <laughs> that's a good looking dog. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah. Uh, these kind of dogs, um, that's, that's my yard. That's my backyard. That's very nice. Uh, these kind of dogs, they, are, get, they get anxious very easy. Okay. So that's why I'm always very concerned to, to walk him every morning before I go to work and then when I get home. And I even pay this dog walker three times per week. Uh -huh. So that way he... He gets a lot of exercise. Exactly. Okay, that so tell me about to... your situation <clears throat> with this defendant. All right, so I've been buying at his store. At least a year. These treats, they're the favorite treats of my dog. So this last order, I well, can show you. What's the name of the treat? The treat, uh, the, that's catered dog and sweet potato dog mm -hmm. uh, treat wraps. Sweet potato dog treat wrap. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, he Not loves. made by you. Not made by me, no. Okay. No. So I did this last order. Here is the order where it says all my information. And, and you it, ordered it online. Yes, ma'am. And then you would ship it to her? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let so me see the order you made. The, 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 the point here is that I use my neighbor's address. The reason why, it's because she is always at home. Uh, I am not. So I am always very concerned whenever I get a delivery to my backyard, right. my, my beautiful fester, he's going to go for that box, he's going to rip it, he's going to buy it because it happened before. So you wanted the foods to be delivered to your neighbor? Yeah, and she's fine with that. Okay. Always, always. You remember always. this order? 
I did not take the order. Okay. Uh, so it was my assistant, Ruby, okay. processed the order. Is Ruby here? She is here, yeah. Okay, so you process the order for it to be delivered at your neighbor's house, then what happened? As usual, for six, this one actually, it was already my sixth order I do through his website. Okay. So uh, for some reason, I don't know what happened, but that Friday night when I go home, mm -hmm. I'm looking for Fester. I got very panicked, so I went to the backyard and he was with this box, as you can see the, the picture. Right. Oh, this the is what this box ripped. I see ripped open here. And then my dog was on the floor crying. So I put some pressure on his tummy and he cried like hell. So I went to this clinic for an emergency. Of course, the doctor took the, all the tests to see what kind of bacteria it was mm -hmm. or something. But mm -hmm. as you can see, he ate most of the back. Coming up on Supreme Justice. We have a new delivery person uh -huh. uh, named Dennis, who, okay. and his first time delivering uh, to Miss Press, so he didn't know the oh, special Oh, so you're details. regular. You were about to win. <laughs> but now you won't be winning. And later. So your husband is lying to me. Um, he, yes. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by if you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Laley Perez, who is suing Donald Saturno for veterinary bills. So what happened to him? Well, uh, in this first test that the dog, the vet took, uh, it was clearly not a bacteria or anything. So he said, please keep an eye on him mm -hmm. for a week. Right. He was pooping blood, in pain, not the same personality. So, of course, I have to, you know, cut my hours of work to be So you could take home. care of him. Exactly. So I went for the recheck second time and then uh, the doctor gave me this letter saying because he took an ultrasound the second time I went mm -hmm. um, to see if it was something mm -hmm. stuck in his tummy right. or, or anything he bite it was something in there right. it was anything thanks God but it was because the treats <laughs> and here is the letter where it says Let the, the, doc, the, the vet say it was because the these treats Mm, and of course, all the bills, right, of the vet, and and I feel very bad because, well, thanks God he's already fine, but it's still you can imagine. So basically, my owner. Fester ate too much food. Yeah, and you're suing the defendant because the food was delivered to your house when it should have been delivered to your neighbor's house. Exactly, and he knew it this because. As I say, before the six months I've been buying... Where is the shipping label? Where is the shipping information where it was going to be shipped and delivered? Where is that? I, it's right there. Clearly it says the shipping address is different than the billing address. Well, the shipping address is not... Okay, the billing address is 913... That's mine. Yes. Your drive. That's what right? I have. Yes. The shipping address is 913C slash 0914, your drive. Yeah, that's the, my, my neighbor's yeah, but is right across the street. That's very confusing what that says there. You, it's you, 914. But, but CO, do you know what CO means? Can go to, the, to that address. It means in care of. Yes. It's usually in care of a person, not a place. So you sent this to yourself in care of another address. But you have your address. It's 913. CO914 and it says your name. So it wasn't really clear, and if this was your normal postman, definitely, where this was going, because it's really your name and your address. It's it's true, ma'am. But but as I say, for five times before, the delivery was so delivered you say, to my neighbors and I got you're it saying, fine. Do you have the past uh, orders? I have a, everything in my profile. I can I think I have I can a printer here, add some but I do have it. Okay, to this please. If, I if didn't have any helps. issue before. Yeah, I understand. Um, so Ms. Perez has been uh, using our delivery service for right. six months. Okay. Um, 
I may have misspoke when I said we shipped. We actually have a delivery person who takes oh. the uh, who t delivers the order. We only do it locally within Fresno. Okay. Um, and our business has been growing, and we have a new delivery person uh -huh. uh, named Dennis. Who, okay. And his first. This was the first time delivering. Uh, to Miss Press, so he didn't know the oh, special so you're details. Regular. You were about to win, <laughs> but now you won't be winning. Yep. So you're saying then that this was a mistake that you guys made? Well, well it's... yeah, because if you hadn't opened your mouth, yeah. if you hadn't opened your mouth, I think the God, way no. this was written, anybody would have been confused about where this was supposed to be delivered, but you had delivered five times to the neighbor's address, and this time your new delivery person delivered to the wrong address. And if you've been doing this for her five or six months, then you know the reason why she's having it delivered to the neighbor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank him for helping your case. <gasps> no, Say, my, thank you. my dog could die, Your Honor. No! Yes! He was bleeding for a month. He was pooping blood for a month. But he's, he's back to normal? Yes, he's back to normal. He's playful and all? He's back to normal, but well, still. Well, good for him. I, 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 did, I couldn't work the same hours I was working. I you know what I mean? You didn't, so, ask, you didn't ask for all of that. You didn't yes. ask for your lost wages, time at work. Well, oh, maybe I should. treatment. You didn't ask for that. You just sued for the $659.95. Mr. Uh, Soterno, I believe that you were negligent and that the uh, plaintiff has, has proven her case. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $659.95. Good luck to you, ma'am. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $659.95. I'm glad I won. Now you should double check your chipping addresses. I'm happy Fester's okay, and I would love to have you back whenever you're ready. Coming up. It wasn't. No, did you tell your husband, baby, you know, if we loan her this money, we may not get it back? When I told did him, did you tell yes. your husband? Yes. That? Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Denise Lewis O'Connor and Brandon O'Connor are suing Desiree Lewis in the amount of $2,900. The O'Connors claim they loaned Mrs. O'Connor's twin sister money to buy a new computer, but say the defendant has yet to pay them back. Ms. Lewis claims her sister didn't give her a time frame to repay the loan when she borrowed the money and says the co-plaintiffs need to be more patient. All right, Mr. O'Connor. Yes, Your Honor. You and your wife are suing uh, Miss Lewis? Yes, Your Honor. For an unpaid debt of $2,900, is that right? That is correct. And my understanding from the pleadings, ma'am, is that this is your fraternal twin sister? Yes, this is my fraternal twin. I've been, I was born two minutes before her. Okay. Yeah. How long um, have you been married, Mr. O'Connor? We've been married for a year, Your Honor. For how long? One year. For we one just year. celebrated our so anniversary. So why are we here? We're here today because uh, my wife and I have been together for two years, okay. actually. And we were actually, the three of us were friends before we got married, but mm -hmm. since then the dynamic has changed quite a bit. How has the dynamic changed? Her sister is almost completely dependent on her for just about anything. So I just heard from your brother-in-law that you're totally dependent on your sister. That's not true. Okay, why do you think that? Um, I believe that Brandon doesn't really understand family. Me and my sister are very close, so he doesn't right. understand our relationship. Right. Um, especially being twins, we do everything together since we were since we we're little babies. What else was going on, Ms. O'Connor? So during this time, she, it has been a year since we loaned her the twenty nine hundred dollars. So how did you loan her that money? So she knows that my wife is too much of a sweetheart to ever say no to her, and so she goes through her anytime right. she needs something from the two of us. Coming up. So your husband is lying to me. Um, he, yes. <laughs> Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Denise Lewis O'Connor and Brandon O'Connor, who are suing Desiree Lewis for an unpaid loan. Okay, so your sister came to you and said, I need to borrow $2,900. Yeah, she said, I'm in an emergency. I need to borrow this money. And you talked to him about it then? 
I did, I did talk to him about it, okay. but I never set a time on when she had to pay us back. Did you tell your husband, you know, we need to loan it to her with the understanding that we may not get it back? It wasn't. No, did you tell your husband, baby, you know, if we loan her this money, we may not get it back? When I told did him, Did you tell yes. your husband Yes, that? I did tell so him. So you knew that you might not get it back? No. When I spoke to her sister, because I wrote the check myself, Okay. I know that in the past she has wiggled her way out of paying us back things that she claimed she was borrowing. Okay. And this time I know it's the principle of the matter. And so the what happened when stop. you wrote the check? So when I wrote the check and I told her this needs to come back to us, she told me she would have the money back to us by June. Is that true? Uh, I never had an agreement about a date with Brandon and paying it back at all. Right. Well, right. let me ask you this question. Even if you say, you, for the sake of argument, you didn't have an agreement, when did you plan on paying it back? I didn't have a set date. It was all, every conversation I had has been between me and my sister. You but... never talked to him about the check? No. I mean, about the loan. Who handed you the check? Brandon did. And he didn't say anything about the money? No, because I already spoke with my sister. All the communication has been going through me. They haven't really been on the best of terms. Okay, but he handed her the check, ma'am. So you're telling me he just handed the check and everybody just went on their way? Well, no they, words passed? Yeah, they already weren't <laughs> talking. Thank you. So yeah, that's exactly what happened. So your husband is lying to me. Um, he, yes. <laughs> no. Maybe you want to go stand over here on this side. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. Promotional consideration provided by you're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Your husband said he told her when he handed her the check, I, I want, we understand you're going to have this money paid back by June. You're telling me that's a lie. He said around summer. It wasn't a confirmed um, month that he said. Okay, so around the summer. Yeah, he said around okay, summer. Okay, so then we agreed there was an understanding she was going to pay the money back sometime around the summer next year. She never said that she would. She never, she, that's what he told her, uh -huh. and she told him, I'm gonna talk to Denise about it. But Denise, you were standing right there. I, I actually wasn't standing right there. So uh, then how do you know what she said to him then? Because I spoke to him, and he never mentioned that. You know what? I don't want to hear anything else out of you. <laughs> I'm finished talking to you. I'm gonna ask you no more questions, and I don't want you to interrupt the conversation. You understand me? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, find that this was a loan and that you have an obligation to pay it back. So right now, I'm going to ask you how much money can you afford to pay per month? And if you can't come up with a number because you tell me that you're going through a rough time, I'm going to give you an amount that you're going to pay, and it's going to be a court order. Um, right now, I can afford to pay $100 a month. Now yes, that I was going to suggest the same thing. Okay. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck. I'm ready to rule. I find for the plaintiff $2,900. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the co-plaintiffs. The defendant is ordered to pay $2,900. You said that you would pay us back, and you didn't. So as long as the checks start coming in, I'll be happy. Yes, the judge ordered that I pay you back $100 a month, so look out for those checks. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.